Hey guys, it's the Epic Princess of Minecraft here, and welcome to my new snapshot video for Minecraft Snapshot 13W36A. Now this snapshot actually includes quite a lot of new items and features, which is really exciting. So let's knock this wall down and get started with it. And yes, there's some flowers behind. So one of the new features for this snapshot, as I'm sure you've guessed by now, is new flowers. This isn't a mod like more flowers. It is some actual new flowers and plants which have been added in. So here we have pink tulip, a poppy, a dandelion, which is your usual um yellow flower which you're used to. Now the poppy I believe actually replaces the rose. Yes, this dandelion. Some allium. I believe this flower is, let me see, as you Azure Blue, I don't know how to pronounce that, but whatever. Um, red tulip, you have an orange tulip here, a white tulip, you have a peony here, um, an oxide daisy, I believe. Yep, and um, this would be a, let me see, a blue orchid, a rose bush over here, some tall grass, this would be some lilac, over here you have a sunflower, and a, no actually, I've got two of the same item, one sec. I believe I've two of the same item. Does that have an allium? Yep, I have that. Never mind, I have two of the same item, but oh well. And anyway, wait, just ignore this bit. That's it. So, the cool thing about the sunflower is it always faces the east. So see, no matter how I place it, it's always going to face the east. Which is good if you want to have a good sense of direction, I guess. So anyway. But let me tell you some more about these flowers. So your pink tulip gives you, when you pull a crafting table, pink dye. This is red dye, yellow dye. I believe this is magenta. Let me see. Not the grass block. Let me see. Crafting table. See what dye it gives. I'm pretty sure it's magenta, but I'll check. What am I doing? Yep, magenta. This gives you light grey, red, orange, light grey again, pink, light grey, yellow, blue, red, um, nothing, and um, I believe magenta again. Let me see. I'm pretty sure they give you magenta, yep. And also there's one more I forgot to add, which is the fern, the large fern, that was the one I was missing. There we go. So quite a few new plants to make it enjoy. Well, and that's pretty much all there is. Now, the way to get the large fern and tall grass is you get bone meal, and also get normal fern. And Pretty much just bone meal, your normal grass and stuff. And if you add a fern down, bone meal that, and that makes a large fern. Now let me just set time back to today. That's zero. Now over here we've got some new biomes. Oh, one sec. Right. So this, I believe, is the savannah biome, and I might be able to show you some. Well, but I don't have much time. But yeah, so this is one of the new biomes. It is, I believe, a savannah biome. Let's check. Let's see. Yep, it's a savannah biome, and as you can see, these are jungle trees, different types of leaves, and it looks really cool. This is probably one of my favourite biomes so far, which I've seen. Now, oh, let me just like, chunk slow and see if I can find any more new biomes. But, okay, here's a list of the other biomes. Oh. Where are they? I guess there's a new... Well, I'm talking, there's a new ocean, so now oceans are a lot more deeper. Just to make them more like oceans. And, well, chunks are really laggy. Anyway, so new biomes are there's a mesa, which is made with hot, um, different types of hardened clay. There is a mega tiger, 
So T A G A. That's pretty cool. It's got one of the new blocks, which I'll show you in a sec. So it's got a few new blocks and stuff. But if you check out some other videos and look on Google Images, I believe there's quite a few of pictures of them. I just have too much time to like get them up and running because I want. I'm actually in a bit of a rush for this video to come out on Tuesday since I wasn't able to get up one out last Tuesday, I believe. But yeah, basically, there's some new biomes. There's Mega Tiger, Stone Beach, which is pretty much just beach hills near the river. There's a roof forest that looks really cool. It's got lots of um, trees with like wide leaf branch things, I think. So, wide apart from of leaves. And it's also got some giant mushrooms in it. And look, horses here. Um, there's a birch forest, which is pretty much a forest just with birches. There's a span, which I've showed you. There's a flower forest where you can get lots of flower types. There's sunflower plains. There's extreme hills plus. And this is just the snowy tiger. So normal tiger is now not, doesn't have any um, snow in it naturally. But there's an extreme hills plus, which is kind of like a tiger. But it has snow. There's extreme hills plus M. That's pretty cool. It's insanely high my amount of peaks. But, um, there's the deep ocean, of course. The ice plains oh. spikes. So these are pretty much a snow biome with little spikes of ice. And then there's your normal tiger, which doesn't have any snow in it now. Now, there's a few more things, so this just isn't it. Let me just get over this stuff. There is now some new fish. Look at them. There's salmon, clownfish, and puffer fish. Now you can't cook clownfish or puffer fish, but you can cook salmon, and that is pretty yummy. I say, or you could just have it raw and have sushi if you wanted. Although that's probably not advised. So I'll just, and. And I definitely don't suggest eating puffish raw, or you can't eat a cooked uh, eater. But don't definitely don't eat it because I'll show you. Let me just go into survival so I can lose some hunger. But yeah, so there is the salmon which you can fish. Oh, lots of tall grass. Now, so that basically means you can use different fishing rods. And now there are new fishing rods, I believe. So there's um, well, there's not new, but some enchantments you can get for your fishing rods. So you can get either Luck of the Seas, which I believe um, gives you a higher chance of earning treasure from fishing. So you can get treasure, which is might be, say, um, name tags, I believe, they're one of those. Or you could get junk, which is, um, there's junk piles, so you could get used boots or um, lily pads, stuff like that. And um, then there's, of course, you can get fish, so like clownfish, puffer fish, regular fish, salmon. But yeah, and then where the other enchantment is lure, which helps you get more fish. So it's like I'm to seize for treasure and lure. Now, oh, I'm hungry, so I'll show you now what puffer fish does when you eat it. So it gives you hunger free, poison four, and nausea two. Pretty painful. Although it never kills you, it does make you pretty sick though. It only ever takes you down to half a heart, which is good. I'm going to take myself back into creative. No. Oh, let's see. Ah, the options. The option menu has been changed. So you have new music and sound. So look at this. You've got master volume. You can fiddle with your music so you can make the music on in game whatever volume you like like normal but you've also got jig box and note box so if you want music down you can still put this high or however low you want but without affecting any of the others you can turn down the volume for the box you can turn down the volume of friendly animals any mon enemy monsters and players and weather which means if you're recording you still want to hear sound but you don't want to hear that annoying rain noise when it starts to rain in the game you don't have to hear that so that is probably really, really useful for me because I hate the noise of rain on Minecraft. Then you have this usual video setting, like what you get with Optifine, I believe. So you can now choose from graphics, which you could do before. But yeah, so you have to be for that. 
um, resource packs, they're different. So as you can see here, I've got Epic Jump, Map of the Trolley. You just put that in there for the one you want to use, press done, wait a while, takes time. And then you have it, let's see what I can find which is different. Oh, never mind. Okay, ah oh, here you go, so you see what different stuff, which is a hint, which I might be doing that series maybe. So you just put it back normal. Okay, there's these super secret settings. Now I'm actually clicking these, but it's not doing anything at the moment. There's also a new um, GUI for the controls and stuff. So that's good. You can see how I've got a few different controls. Mine, but yep. Got that there. And that's pretty much the most thing that's changed in the settings, I believe. See anything else? Oh, that's just usual. Yep, um... Ah, there's better sprinting. So, you, a lot of you guys probably know the better sprinting mod. And, but, where you just choose a button. And this is kind of like it. So right now it's on left control. So when, if you're just walking normally, you can still double tap W. But if you're just walking normally, you can press left control and you start sprinting. You just have to press it once. You don't have to hold it down. Just press it. And if you want to stop sprinting, you just stop walking. And then when you start again, it doesn't happen. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. So hopefully it doesn't like wear out when you're in the middle of a game such as TNT run, I'm not really sure. But that makes it a lot easier instead of having to always double tap. Now what else is there? Ah, new particle effects for falling. Let me show you that. So when you're falling from distance, I think if you jump off three, like four blocks, I believe. But anyway, the higher you are, the more particle, the better leg. What am I saying? The bigger the particle effect is. So I'll show you from right there. That's actually really cool. I've done this like 50 million times just to watch it. the particles. So let's fall down. Whoosh! It's awesome. Now, there is new block. So let me get this block. There is Podzol. I have no idea what is with the name, but there's Podzol. And there's Packed Ice. And I'll get regular ice just to show the um, difference. So, Podzol is found in that, um, I think it was, what one was it? Um, the Mega Tiger bio. So, it's found in that one, which is what I was talking about. So, it looks like that. It's kind of like the leaves falling on the ground. It's pretty cool. Then, then you've got packed ice. So, that's like your ice, but more packed and solid and misted and as you can see it's not see-through yet regular ice is see-through that's pretty cool gives you some extra options for your building what else is there there's a bit more i'm saving the best one for last but let's see ah here we go there is a new potion so i'll get my brewing stand up and i'll need some water Whatever. And never wood. And this is a water breathing potion. So let me get my puffer fish. So, how you make it is I'll use. So, you may have to make an awkward potion first. And we'll just wait for that. And while I wait for that, I'll get myself an ocelot, because I can. And some raw fish. Not regular raw fish. So let's spawn this. Now let's try to aim this fossil lot so we can get it and use it in our demonstration. No, it doesn't want to be tamed. What is with this eye? Okay. Nope, this fossil doesn't like us today. Quick, Derek Peak, what are you doing? Oh, that was really quick. You're weird. You're one weird pig. Okay, let's get a lead and a fence. Pick. Fence. Here we go. 
stand up. Stand up, I can't go. Okay, let's run. I'll put a fence here just for now. Me cats. Good cats. Let's see how this is going. Good. Put a puff fish in. Now I get a little demonstration going. So I use the deep ocean now. Oh, I need to make a splash pressure. Let's yeah, stop this. Splash. Where's water? Here you go. I'll get a six minute one. So I'll put this fence down here. Okay. okay. So basically, this is good for you if you don't have, if you don't, if you're worried you might lose your breath when underwater and drown. And it's also good for your pets if they happen to have that annoying thing where they tend to drown when you're an out adventuring and they're following you. So come on cats, let's go show this fancy schmancy water breaking potion, which is actually something Paul Sauce Jr. has been asking for and I'm ecstatic that they brought it in because I thought it was such a great idea. And well, Paul Sauce Jr. is actually one of my favourite YouTubers since he's family friendly. And he was actually the first guy in Minecraft I've subscribed to and I actually can't find that fence so we'll make our own again. Come here. Okay. We'll tie our cats down here. Oops, still holding it. Kitty. Good. And we'll come back to them later. Time set zero. Now is there anything more? There's one more thing but I want to check if there's anything else. So there's apparently a new brain stand feature. So before you could put stuff in brewing stands which wouldn't make anything but now you can't so there's so now you can't put for example a lead in top I'll show you that so see I can't drop it um that's pretty much it I think for this bit see I'll try and get the fishing run try and catch one of those fish while we wait Yeah, I found pretty much where I'm getting all my information from is this one website because they don't tell you much on Mojang website. They said they want to keep it a secret from themselves and for us to figure it out. But yeah, there's this one website which is here's the information and there's our cats down there. See, they're not drowning. I'm quite a good time. Anyway, if you see a swirl, apparently it means that a fish is coming. Oh yeah, I got a salmon, that was quick. Yep. And our cats still aren't drowning. By now they probably would have been dead. And I bet another fish is coming. I'm hoping to get something from the jungle treasure pile, just to show you guys. Hurry up. No, I actually would have been more set up because I actually had um, a setup for a snapshot, but I lost it because I went flying around to look for more biomes and then I couldn't find where it was. So I've had to do this on the spur of the moment. Oh, and here we go. Oh, regular fish. Here, I forgot something. The sugar cane now has a different sort of texture, so depending on where you put it, then it will have a different sort of look. So let's go find some other place. Let's try here if it looks any different, probably not here, yeah, but try. I think it's a bit lighter. We'll try over the nearby savannah. Hurry up. Let's see. Boom, boom, boom. I bet it's going to look a bit different in the savannah. There you go. See, it looks a bit yellow. So that's one cool thing. Now let's go back. Suicide. It's because I can't go to fly that far, even though it's not really that far. Let's go check on our cats to see how they're going. Now, what 
there's two cats. Where's the other one gone? Well, I don't think it died. Let's see, need. Oh, maybe it wasn't cut to the rope or something and ran away. Come on, up the water. Oh, must be in sit position. Come on, don't drown. Well, the cat's not dead, so now to show you the best part of it, which is my favourite bit. So, we'll go to single player. Wait, this we don't need anymore. Yay! Anyway, so there's, I'll just screen you with just now. But, creative. Basically, there's a new world type which you can go, and it's called Amplified. Now, I won't do it right now because I want to show you my world because I've got a cute little house here. But you can do that. And anyway, so this world is an amplified and it is amazing. So yes, I put my nice little quaint house. Okay, ready? Close your eyes. And kaboom. Check it out. Adorable mountains and it's really chunky because I don't know why. Computer is slow today. Look, it's adorable. It's all these cute mountains. It's breathtaking. And my little hut on the mountain. Over here. So that's how you get it. As it said, it requires a beefy computer, which I'll try and do. Oh, I know why it's a bit late. It's because I'm recording. And oh, here's my little house. Isn't it adorable? And they, I was thinking of doing a survival series in here. Yes, I've already made this a little bit creative, but I'll try and do something like this. I've only given myself a little bit just for this journey. And I've given myself a horse. I'll show you my horse. That's not it. It's a cute horse, though. Where is my horse? Here we go. Oh, just stop flying or whatever. So, I've got this horse. And then I've got some wild horses, which I tied up just to try and see if it prevents them from despawning. But did she? Oh, come on, horsey. Let's go riding. You have to be careful that you don't ride your horse up to a cliff. I'll give you an example and kill myself and the horse. Let's see. Not this one of these horses, though. Come on, stay here, horse. Leave. Now I need to get some wheat. Don't run off the edge, horsey. Come back, horsey, I love you. Oh, there's a horse right there. Oh, never mind. I don't want your feet to see. Ah, oh, here we go. Now let's put the saddle on. Now, game mode zero. Let's ride this horsey to our doom. See how it's both you and horsey. But I don't care, I like horses. There's another high cliff I can jump off. Let's try to get up there. Let's see if horsey flies. Oh, horsey flies! 
before you end the matter, like you will. Come on, let's see up we go. Oh, look at that horse. That horse looks pretty. Sorry, horse. It's time to die. Whoosh. Please don't mind water. Dang it. Oh well. You get the gist. So pretty much this is the snapshot with a bit of goofing around because I couldn't help myself. But hey, what can I say? This is an awesome snapshot and I'm pretty sure there's going to be some more. So anyway, this has been the Epic Princess of Minecraft. If you enjoyed the video, then please leave a like, subscribe. And if you have anything you want to say, then put it in the comments, whether it be a suggestion or whatever tickles your fancy. Anyway, I have to go. I shall see you later. Bye! Come now. Go away. Okay, bye-bye.